So, if you want to learn how to draw a portrait, you probably came across one of these videos showing you how to draw an eye. And they're not wrong or anything, they teach you how to draw an eye. But the issue is that they teach you how to draw one eye. They, they teach you how to draw the perfect eye, almost like the caricature of an eye. And the issue is that if you want to draw an eye, right, in like just one eye in, like an, in an entire paper, then it's all good, all right? And you, you can use their technique. But here is the issue. In most drawings, if you want to draw a portrait, you're probably not going to find any portrait that looks like this. you're probably not going to find it because most people are not like that. Most people's eyes are, you know, in most photos, eyes are probably going to be like this or like this or whatever, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw eyes, but like actually draw eyes, how to draw eyes to draw portraits, right? Uh, the eyes that you see in portraits that you see in photos, so you can apply it to your portraits. And so let me show you. So this is a drawing that I'm currently working on. Um, and uh, it, it's mirrored, by the way, so it looks better when it's not mirrored, but I'm not going to unmirror it because I honestly, I just, I hate to see my face unmirrored, so whatever, okay? Uh, so this is the, this is a drawing that I'm currently working on, and I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can recognize her ID, but she's actually the girl that slapped the shit out of Kellogg's on Sidemen, but she, she knows me and she asked me to draw a portrait of her. Anyway, um... So as you can see, and as you can see even in the photo, her eyes are not really that that clear. They're not that detailed. So you don't, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't really try to make them more detailed than the photo, right? As you can see, they're not as detailed as the eyes that you see in these videos that teach you how to draw an eye, right? So let me show you right now how we're going to draw this, right? This drawing right here, the eyes in this drawing, and we're going to make them very realistic, right? Photorealistic without making them super detailed, right? So I'll show you. So as you can see now, the photo looks a lot better already because like the drawing looks a lot better already because it's not like mirrored anymore. And uh, the setup is kind of weird. I know, I'm not a second. So I put the easel like this because, you know, I'm a short guy. I'm on the wheelchair, you know, I'm four foot. So yeah, I have to like to get it perfectly like aligned with my face. And honestly, this is the best way that I found so far. And it's actually perfect. So I put it like this. I don't know, maybe, maybe you're going to find this helpful. So I'm showing it to you as well. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see well the eyes and let me just focus it up 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 there you go that's pretty much perfect and uh let's just do it like this there you go so as you can see now the eyes are almost like blank because i still didn't start uh the drawing right i, I still didn't start the uh uh i still didn't start drawing the actual eyes i just you know got the proportions right which is really important and i'm going to show you how to do that in a in a video later um but in like maybe another day so what i like to use for this stage is mainly a mechanical pencil now i'm using a erotering uh 600 and you know i think this is a really good pencil but i'm not sponsored by it but uh if they want to sponsor me though i'm not going to turn them down but whatever um, you can use any pencil really. I just like this one because, you know, it's my pencil, but, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, you'll find a lot of artists that say, you know, you can draw any drawing with any pencil and they're right. You can draw any drawing with any pencil. Uh, so, you know, whatever you have, just do it. I just like this one. So, uh, we're going to start with a, with an HB pencil. So this is, you can select here with this one. This is why I like it, honestly. You can select the, uh, the, the, like the lead that you're going to use. So I'm going to use the, uh, an HP pencil. I think it's pretty good for this. Um, and we're going to start drawing the eye as we see it exactly in the photo. So I'm going to speed this, uh, this part up a bit because it's going to be a little bit boring for you, I, I think. So, and it's really not that interesting. I mean, it's literally just me doing shadow. So like shading. So I'm just going to speed this up.
To draw highlights, what I like to use is this eraser. This is a Tombow uh, Mono Zero eraser, and it's a 0 0.5, uh, actually 2.3 eraser, my bad. 0 0.5 is the pencil. This is a 2.3 uh, uh, millimeters uh, eraser. And you can use this too, as you can see here, you know, you can just give it, like erase a little bit of like graphite and you know this is actually why I really like to use the HP pencil uh, especially in this part because you can really erase it very easily with, uh, with that eraser or you can actually use also another eraser that I'm going to show you now that I have one second I have to find it there you go there it is so this is another eraser that I really like to use which is a knitted eraser knitted needed, I don't know, but whatever. Uh, this is a uh, Faber-Castell one. Uh, honestly, I have this one from like, uh, I think, I think five years and I still didn't change it once and it still works. Uh, so, you know, definitely good stuff. And uh, you can use this like this. So you can really, like the only, this one has like some like advantages and disadvantages. So the best advantage is that you can get any shape you want and it really erases very well as you're, as you're about to see. But the problem is that you always have to reshape it because it loses, it doesn't really keep its shape um, and it bends a lot. So you really have to like get the shape correct before doing anything. So if we're gonna draw a little highlight And as you can see, it definitely draws a highlight, highlights really well. And then you can really just use like a combination of like this eraser and the other eraser. And honestly, whatever eraser you have is really good. Okay, like you don't have, you don't need to have this one or this one. You can even like take an eraser, and this is what I used, what I used to do before having this one. You can just take an eraser and cut it in a way that it, it becomes pointy, so you can. Uh, use it as a precision eraser. You know, you also don't really need an electric eraser. A lot of people use them. I personally think that they're not really necessary. Uh, but if you think that they're, you know, if you find them useful, then I guess, you know, try it. Uh, I've seen they're pretty expensive, so I never really, you know, got one, but I never really felt the need to buy one. So there is that. Like you know, this is another really good thing about the about using an about using an HP pen. So is that it's very forgiving. You know, even if you make a mistake, you can just uh, erase it with any eraser that you have, and it's gonna go away. And you can just you know draw over or just erase it if if you you know if you don't need to draw over it. And there you go. So as you can see, it's not as detailed as in the drawings of like you know how to draw an eye but it's really because it doesn't have to be. Uh, it's not as detailed as that in the photo and you don't have to add details uh, from, you know, uh, from, uh, from your own. Uh, you just draw what you see in the photo and that's really about it. Um, now for shading and, you know, you can see there is like some shadow here. These, you know, the eyeballs are usually not really white. You know, they're not white like perfectly white uh, and they don't have to be you know veiny essentially as in those as in those videos you know that teach you how to draw an eye again but they're usually not uh, completely white as you can see here so i'm going to show you how to draw uh, like realistic eyeballs mm -hmm. so i paused the video but i was looking for a brush that like i i just I, I thought i lost it and it was literally right here jesus but anyway uh, so this is how you draw like the uh, the shading on the eyeball. So I usually use a brush because the brush is actually very, and I mean very soft, and it's uh, it really gives like a very uh, controllable uh, shading. So and as you can see, it makes it a little bit darker without going super dark, you know. So this is something that you really need a lot in drawing, uh, even here. As you can see, you can also use like a smaller brush. Um, you can use any brush really, but I would suggest something like this. So now, right now, as far as the eye go, as far as the eyes go, they're 
pretty much already over, but if you want to, you can actually make them more realistic by using even darker pencils and making them, you know, pop out even more. And so what you can use here is actually, instead of using a an HP pencil, you can use, you know, darker leads. Now the issue with, uh, you know, darker uh, pencils like uh, like this one. The reason why I don't do it immediately is because if you make a mistake with a 2B pencil, it's a lot harder to erase than with an HP pencil. Now, another thing also that I would like to say about, about drawing guys is that maybe you feel tempted to like to draw uh, eyelashes because, you know, in many of these videos, they really show you like every eye has like super long eyelashes like super long squiggly eyelashes but in reality that's really not usually the case and for example here uh as you can see in the photo uh she really her eyelashes are almost uh, they're not really visible so you really have to draw well again you really have to draw just what you see in the photo and if she doesn't have eyelashes then be it Now there is also like hair uh, passing like over the eyes. So just for the sake uh, of this video, since you know we're drawing eyes, uh, I will draw them a little bit, but I'm not gonna draw all of them because many of them are just not really interfering, I guess you can say with the eye. So, uh, you know, I'm just gonna draw the ones that pass over the eyes and the other ones, um, I would, those are gonna be for another video. So as you can see now, the drawings are definitely already pretty uh, photorealistic. The, as you can see, they're not as detailed as in the, uh, in like in those videos, and they're not as detailed as, you know, as the eyes in those videos, but uh, they're as detailed as in the photo. And that's what matters. What matters is that they have to be as detailed as in the photo. And if you can achieve that, then they're gonna look photorealistic. So yeah. So this is what the drawing looks like, as you can see, with like the natural light of the window. The natural natural light always makes drawings look beautiful. So as you can see, they look very photorealistic and without even being that detailed. But it's not really just all about the details. It's really, I mean, they are pretty detailed, but it's really just more about how accurate they are in comparison to the photo. And the more accurate they are uh, with the photo, the more they will seem photorealistic. So, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know if there is something that you would like to know about drawing or about painting. I will do probably videos about oil painting as well. And uh, thank you all for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps a lot. And uh, thank you all for supporting me on Patreon as well. And uh, see you guys in the next video.